What's up guys, Erroneous here with another Raid Shadow Legends video. In today's video, I'm going to be showcasing the Lizard Ben's Faction Crypt. I actually just beat the Lizard Ben Faction Crypt, so uh, that's pretty sweet. That was from yesterday, and I'm going to go ahead and showcase that for you today. Uh, I also beat the Ogren Tribe Crypt as well, so stay tuned for that video as well. I beat the Ogren Tribe today, um, and that was a nice win as well. So I only have three factions left. I've got Skinwalkers, Bannerlords, and also the Dwarves Crypt as well. I don't know if I'm going to be able to make it uh, before they open up the Shadowkin, but who knows? Well, maybe I'll get lucky. So I'm just going to go ahead and showcase you the Lizardmen that I utilized in order to beat the Lizardmen Faction Crypt. So, and I'll show you their kits as well. So I used two Rosins. I fused Rosin, which of course everybody in this playing this game can fuse Rosin. He's not too too hard to fuse. Uh, I'm just gonna move myself out of the way a little bit so you guys can see a little bit better. So I did fuse a Rosin and I pulled a Rosin a while back. One of my Rosins is level 50. This is the one that I pulled. I have him in a stun set. And this other Rosin here is in a life seal set. So I also utilized Broadmaw. And I utilize Jareg, and I utilize Basilisk. Now, as you can see, Basilisk is missing one piece, but I'll get back to him. So first champion that I'm going to go overview is Rosin Scarhide. Now, Rosin Scarhide is an insanely good champion for any account. He's an older champion. He's been a fusible champion character for a long time. If you haven't fused him yet, please do so, because he's going to be uh, your damage dealer in Faction Wars. Um, he's actually one of the main damage dealers next to Jareg and probably, um, sorry not Jareg, Basilisk and probably Jarang. Now I pulled Jarang recently but I didn't want to build him because I didn't want to uh, waste resources. I wanted to conserve a little bit. So as you can see I do have Rosin, my main damage dealer, in a lifesteal set to keep him alive. And he actually does really well in the lifesteal set. So I have this Rosin fully mastered. Uh, he does have the Giant Slayer proc uh, going on for the Mastery. And then I also went down with Master Hexer to extend the duration of any debuff cast by him by one turn. Um, I probably should have went with Evil Eye against the boss, but um, I actually didn't have to do that, which was nice. And no point for me to even go for Lore of Steel. I've switched up his gear so many times that... Um, I think that that's why it's all messed up, but I used to have a speed set on him and I used to have, um, I think, a uh, per double perception set as well, uh, but I wanted him to have a sur more survivability, so I put him in lifesteal. Now, um, just to take a quick peek at his total stats, he's got 50,000 HP, uh, 3600 defense, 195 speed, if you can get him faster, great. 82% crit rate, crit damage 127, and accuracy 239, enough accuracy to land all his debuffs. Uh, for his skills, his skills are fully booked out, so that's kind of nice. And then, of course, his aura is for arena by 90% for resistance, which is also really nice to be utilized in arena. I have an accuracy banner, crit damage on the amulet, and defense on the ring. Um, of course, chest HP... Defense, Gauntlet, Speed, Boot. Moving on to the next champion, we've got Broadmaw. Broadmaw is an exceptionally good champion as well. Also a fusible champion. Uh, Broadmaw actually was buffed, uh, I believe, in the past within the past six months or so. And Broadmaw has uh, a nice revive skill, which is Resurrect. Uh, revives two random dead allies by 20% of their HP and places a block damage buff on the revived allies for one turn, which is kind of clutch against the boss on stage 21. Now he does have an aura in Faction Crypts for defense by 33%. If you want to utilize his aura, fantastic, you, you should definitely do that. But I don't think it's required to do that. Um, you can also use Jareg's aura as well. He also has an Ice Blast ability on his A1, which is great for CCing wave content. I don't have him booked at all. <clears throat> His masteries are almost fully done. I did go down with resistance, but he doesn't need resistance. I don't know why I did that. Uh, maybe for other content. Um, and if I were to redo his masteries, I would probably just go with War Master and the defense tree if I'm able to get better support. 
but I do like the support tree. Um, honestly, the defense tree is not really necessary. I would prefer to go to offense tree and a support tree on this champion. Um, skills, again, not, not booked. Artifacts, he's got a speed set and a regen so that he's not targeted. So I have him in an accuracy chest plate. The reason why is so I can get his accuracy high enough so that way he's landing abilities, his ice blast ability, which although it has a small percentage chance to land at 35%, he does get it if you get good RNG pretty often. And then if you do book him out, it books out to a 45% chance. And then if you want to choose the masteries, you can gain an additional 5% chance to land that freeze potentially. Um, I made sure that he had decent stats. He has 54,000 HP, only 1,700 defense, so nothing to, you know, clap your hands about, right? Speed at 196, 200 resistance, 240 accuracy. The resistance, I don't even know why that's there. Prefer preferably put more speed and more defense on him instead. Um, next time I prefer to do something different. For the uh, banner, I used a HP banner. Amulet, defense, HP ring. Accuracy on the chest, HP on the gauntlets, and speed on the boots. Next champion, Jareg. Now, he's in some pretty good gear for me. Uh, I do have him going pretty fast. I also have him in my clan boss team. I wish he was faster. At least like 215, 220 speed would be nice. But he is at a respectable amount of HP. So 65k HP, 2200 defense, 190 speed. 88% uh, crit rate, crit damage is kind of low, uh, 233 resistance, and 311 accuracy, which is a little bit overboard on the accuracy, but I do use him in Doom Tower, and uh, as well as dungeons as well. Um, his damage is okay. He doesn't hit insanely hard, but he does hit halfway decent for a HP support type champion. Um, and his damage is based on attack. I wish it was based on HP, but it is what it is. Uh, so his A1 is really good, 35% chance to place a decrease attack. It does book out to 35, 40, 50, 60% chance. I do highly recommend to put books into this champion. He doesn't requ require that many books. He only requires seven books, which is halfway decent considering he is an epic champion. Um, he also has a good passive, which does heal, uh, puts a continuous heal um, champion of your own in case they lose 20% of their max HP with one hit, which you will see happen often against the boss on stage 21. So every time the boss is slamming each one of your champions, he's going to be helping and placing a continuous heal on them so they don't die right away. Now I do have him in a stalwart set, which helps mitigate 30% of the AoE damage. Um, and that's why I have him in this because of clan boss, but um, obviously you don't need to use stalwart. You could use anything pretty much for Jareg as long as he has really high HP. I do recommend either stalwart, a regen, or immortal gear. Um, immortal gear I did throw on him. Um, you can also put high accuracy gear, high resistance gear, whatever you prefer. You can utilize this guy in so many different ways. His masteries are fully done for me. I did go down with War Master and then the counterattack masteries as well. On to the next Rosin. His masteries are not complete. I just did the basic masteries for some damage. Uh, he does not have any books in him at all. Uh, I just simply used him for CCing the waves. So he does have an immortal set and then he has a HP chest, crit rate on the gauntlet, halfway decent crit rate gauntlet, I, it could be better. And then speed boots, I think this is a defense amulet, let's take a peek. Defense amulet, crit damage on the, um, sorry, crit damage amulet, defense ring. And then of course he's at, for total stats, 167 speed, so he's actually pretty slow. He is at 100% crit rate. 200, a little over 200 accuracy, so he is able to land his skills majority of the time with the bone sword and the shear, and also the bog down, which is also clutch against the boss when you need to take down his turn meter. The last champion I have here is Basilisk. Now I did take off Basilisk's uh, chest plate recently, but um, he's in a stun set and also an immortal piece set as well. Uh, total stats for him. He's got 33k HP. He has 
pretty low speed at 174, 187 accuracy, but surprisingly enough for his skills, he's land with this skull clobber, he was landing stuns more often than I expected at such low accuracy, and that's because I don't know, he just was getting lucky RNG. So on here, if you don't have enough accuracy, I would suggest going with a support route, but definitely put him in offense. I went with Life Drinker just to keep him alive a little bit longer to help support him against the boss because the boss targeted him mostly. And the reason why I wanted the boss to target him is because he has this withstand ability which revives his champion when killed and places a block damage buff on them for one turn and it's every six turns. So if you make this guy even faster, maybe even put him in Relentless, um, then this boss on stage 21 is going to be a piece of cake. So. That's the team that I've got going on, um, and uh, I don't have any books in him. I, I didn't show you. I don't know if I showed you his books, but uh, I don't believe I have any. Well, I do have books in him because I have it in my A3. Yeah, so I have a few books in him. Um, I didn't end up booking down the Skull Clobber, but the only thing that you really want to book out on this guy is the Withstand ability if you can help it. Other than that, you really don't need to book this guy out. So... That's going to be the team, guys. Please uh, feel free to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and enjoy the video. Take care.